Thank you for tuning in to the Keeping It Real with KC podcast. A no judgment zone podcast that covers lifestyle, entertainment, news, and sports. Even though KC doesn't watch sports, but these are minor details. (laughs) By the way, he reads tarot cards too. Yes, I really mean it. He reads tarot cards too. And now, the host you've tuned in for, KC Phoenix. Welcome to the Keeping It Real with KC podcast. I, of course, am your host, KC Phoenix. And I am finally doing a sports episode. I haven't done one in forever. And I had mentioned recently that I would do a sports episode. So here it is. People who know the joke is I don't watch sports, but I still cover sports from time to time. And usually when I cover sports, it's about something that kind of piques my interest. So I was like, all right, fine. Let me dig through Sporting News because this is the site I usually go to and see what I can find. And I came across this article. It's a few days old. But Floyd Mayweather has always, you know, sparked my interest. He's a very intriguing individual. Now, before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. We got that out the way. I need to take a sip of water. Because, man, I'm telling you, I had some water earlier today. Mm. But I was like, I didn't have enough. I drink a ton of water. But I digress. So, yeah, I came across this and I'm like, okay, so he's fighting again. But this isn't an official fight. So let me read the title of the article for those who are not watching the video and listening to the podcast. It says, is Floyd Mayweather boxing again? Fighter announces exhibition at Burj Al Hotel Helipad. It says, at 44 years old, Floyd Mayweather has done it all in the boxing world, except, of course, fight on a helipad. Okay, for some reason, I don't know why I thought he fought on a helipad at least once before, but whatever. He will get the opportunity to do so after announcing he will fight another exhibition fight. Mayweather in a Tuesday news conference announced he will box on a helipad in Dubai at the Burj Al Arab Hotel on February 20th, 2022, just a few days after his 45th birthday. February 20th, for those who you just heard that my heat just came on so yeah if you hear that in the background (laughs) february 20th we haven't chosen an opponent yet but i look forward to it and hopefully we'll give you guys something to see mayweather said the reported opponent for mayweather is youtuber rashad money kicks belhasa i have no idea who this person is (laughs) He is the son of a billionaire businessman, Saif Belhasa, and has more than 3.21 million subscribers on YouTube. (laughs) I still don't know who this person is, but that's okay. I spoke with my advisors about Money Kicks. We don't really know. Mayweather said Tuesday, Money Kicks is doing big things and I like what I'm seeing. A bronze medalist in the 1996 Olympics, Mayweather later made his professional debut that year. The man once called Pretty Boy has won titles in the super featherweight, lightweight, welterweight, and lightweight, no, light middleweight divisions. Retiring with a record of 50-0, 27 knockouts in in that 50-0. Mayweather has faced some of the most legendary fighters in the world, including Arturo Gatti, Zab Judah, Jose Luis Castillo, Ricky Hatton, and Shane Mosley. He initially retired in 2015 after beating Manny Pacquiao and Andre Berto. Mayweather returned in 2017, beating MMA star Conor McGregor via TKO. 
which that was an interesting fight. I did watch that fight. I know I don't really watch sports, but that I did watch. It was an interesting fight to earn that 50th win. I don't really consider that a 50th win, but whatever. But this won't be the first time Mayweather has fought a YouTuber. He fought Logan Paul in an exhibition fight in Miami in 2021. Going the distance in a fight that was not officially scored. He has also competed in other exhibitions beating kickboxer Tenshin Nasakawa via TKO in 2018. The fight is one of many business ventures Mayweather is hoping to be part of in Dubai. The Burj Al Arab Jamira, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Hotel Helipad, 689 feet above the ground, has been occupied by Rory Mc... Mc hold on. Rory McElroy? I guess that's McElroy. That's a weird way to spell McElroy. Anthony Joshua and Roger Federer. It has also been used as a platform for the Today Show. Tennis matches featuring Andre Agassi and Federer. A race car track in boxing. Who would want to race a car on a helipad? Okay, whatever. It will be a very special crowd, Mayweather continued. Not too many people... So if you get the chance to come here, you must know that you are very special. All right. I take it this will be on pay-per-view. I won't watch this one. I didn't watch the Jake Paul one. Oh, it's 111. Thank you. Angel number. <laughs> I just looked at the time. It's 111. But um, yeah, I... I didn't watch, what was it? Logan Paul, Jake Paul, I get them mixed up. I, I At first I thought they were the same person. And then I found out, no, they're brothers or something like that or cousins or, or, or whatever. But yeah, I didn't even watch that fight with, who was it? Hold on, let me scroll back down. <laughs> Logan Paul. So yeah, I didn't watch that fight. Like I said, I watched the Conor McGregor fight. I doubt I'm watching this fight. I'm... Like I said, I've been intrigued by Floyd Mayweather. I'm not invested in Floyd Mayweather. Where it's a thing of, oh, Floyd's fighting, let me watch the fight. It's not that deep. Therefore, yeah, I'll let you know. I might cover this and see what happens or whatever after the fact. Because it's not too far away because today's the 8th of January. So like February 20th, if it happens, because based off of what he was saying, the person hasn't been selected yet. So who knows? But I promised everyone that I would do a sports episode. I might even do another one. I still haven't found another one that was that interesting, to be honest. There isn't anything going on. There was something going on with lockdowns or lockouts in baseball, which apparently that has something to do with uh, the agents, I guess, or having an agent or being traded to a team, whatever. I, I learn as I go with all, the, with all these sports episodes. But I might do one more sports episode. So yeah, this is where we're at. Anyways, if you are a Floyd Mayweather fan, I'm sure they will have the details of how to catch the fight. I'm almost 95% sure this is going to be on pay-per-view. Clearly, because it's... He already said not many people can be in attendance because it's going to be on a helipad. It's not like it's going to be in a big arena or anything like that. They're going to be on a helipad over 600 feet in the air fighting. Whatever. So, yeah. It'll be on pay-per-view, I'm sure. Probably like $70, $90, whatever. And he'll make $100 million like he usually does. I'm not mad at him. Get your money. So that is all I have for this sports episode that I rarely do. And I will see about doing another one before the day is out. It's almost, it's 1.14. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm kind of hungry. 
Let me get going. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Until next time, be blessed.